Bienvenidos a este nuevo vídeo de VirtuV. Estamos en el stand de Essen y tenemos aquí a una leyenda que teníamos muchas ganas de traer al canal, ni más que menos que Bruno Catala. Hello Bruno, how are you? Hello, I'm very fine. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> I'm a very big fan of your work and for me it's a pleasure to have you here at the Beers booth. And well, I think it's a great fair for you in Essen and you have been Spiel des Jahres winner this year. Yeah. Are you happy with this? Happy, uh, yes, more than happy. It's unbelievable, in fact. You know, uh, it's not something you can try to get. Uh, it can just be a, a dream, and uh, when it, if, if you get it, so you just have to say, "Why well, I'm grateful for that," because uh, you know, you can never mind the quality of what you are doing. Uh, you can spend all your life uh, just having good games and not the game. So. And frankly speaking, you have to be lucky because imagine that this game has been released one year earlier. Yeah. We would have to be facing um, code names. And frankly speaking, in front of code names, I'm quite sure we, we will not have win. Could be harder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to be a bit lucky. It's exactly. Like Oscars. <laughs> Exa it's, it's the same, yes. It's the same, yes. that stuff, yeah. But well, you have it. You miss great. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Now you have a new one. Yeah. That's really good. But you have been working doing board games for a long time. My first game has been published here in 2002. That means 15 years ago. Wow, it's not bad. <laughs> And at this time, uh, I have something like 100 games which have been released. I think um, probably something 85 games and 15 expansions okay. but for me it's 100 because it's the same amount of work in fact and how you decided to be board game designer full-time i'm not decided that really <laughs> because um, <laughs> no no i can explain just first first it's because uh, getting sufficient incomes from royalties it's quite impossible uh, except if you have uh, a bestseller immediately And uh, I was first uh, engineer in material sciences in industry. I was making, uh, working in research and development in uh, Tungsten Alloys. But, uh, and I was uh, developing games as a hobby uh, side of my job. And my chance is that I've been published uh, between that period. And then in 2004, four, sorry, I've been fired. Uh, I'm a father divorced with young children and uh, in my specialty the only uh, and, um, company which was working on that field in France was mine. So to find a new job I had to, to, to leave, I have to go far away, probably on the other side of France and probably abroad, which would have been very interesting on a personal point of view, but uh, I wanted to stay, to stay with my children, close to my children. So I decided at that time that maybe I should try to develop my own business around which was my passion, that means games. Personally, I think that uh, some of your games are kind of familiar. Uh, yeah. Most of the time they can appeal to everyone, but they always have a strategic point, a strategic thing, something that gives a special flavor. Maybe that's your kind of game? That uh, First, uh, for me, it's only possible to work on a game I want to play myself. That means that all the games I made uh, are connected to my personal taste. It's what I like to play. Okay, so I am, it's quite a selfish attitude, in fact, because uh, I'm making my games and then, but, I believe that uh, we, as game designers, we have to show one path and then we have to try to convict people to follow us on that path and not to imagine what people would like and create something which has not really something uh, deeply connected to your heart inside. I prefer to make things which are not perfect but which, which with sincerity inside. That's uh, something that has worked because your games are, have a lot of success and it's yeah. a good... <laughs> it seems, yes. But it's, I think it's a strength 
probably. And also a weakness. Yeah, could be. be because the strength is that, uh, yes, I know what I want to do, so I, I know the direction where I want to go. But the weakness is that, for example, I would be so happy to be able to design a game for very young children. Okay. And it's quite impossible to me, but just because I don't like this kind of games. <laughs> so, and it's, it's very difficult for me to figure what is exciting for a three years old child. I have no idea, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> and then, how you work with uh, those old games? Because you are really prolific. Uh, you every day uh, work with them, take prototypes and stuff, or what's your way to create games? But first, you have to have a sparkling ID, and then, like uh, in a science uh, context, you develop it, you make experiences, what means play testing, you have to build the, the components, you make experiences, you, you, you look at the answers, and you try to adjust them to put your final answer exactly where you want to create. Because, in fact, what I want, what I try to do is to create a special game experience uh, and you have three parameters which are the team the story uh, the components and the mechanics but these are only tools and these tools you can mix them adapt them correct them the way you want to create the emotion you really want and this matters not not what is on the base okay, okay? And I try to do that, but yes, I'm working on many projects at the same time, but they are not at the same stage of development. So during one day, I have to jump from one project to another project, depending on the connection I have, because I'm not working alone. Yes, I am a game designer, but some game design are made with co-designers. Uh, one of your last games, it's Kanawa, it's a game that we have released this year, it was a new game, Last Essen, yep. but in Spain, just come a few months ago, and people, it's shocked with the game, with the artwork, with the components, with the mechanics, yeah. with everything. I think it's a really good product, really beautiful experience. Thank you. How was the, the creation of this? How, where the idea came? Uh, it's a co-design with Charles Chevalier, okay, and the sparkling idea came from Charles. So the idea was to create a game in which you have cards, and these cards, each card you take will be useful. But you will have to choose if you put it on this side, hidden, hidden sorry, uh, half of a card on, on this side. So you have to choose half of a card each time. Yeah. And when it explained me the idea, I found it very exciting. And the, and then we tried to imagine what to do with, to find all which was going with that such simple and clever idea. And in fact, it took us one complete year just to find, not working at all, but to find the story which was matching that idea. Because if it's just to score points, I don't care. In fact, I wanted that it makes sense to do that. And for months and months, we had discussions, discussions, but we didn't find something which has really connected enough until we imagined that this could be a landscape. But if it's just a real landscape, a photography of outside, uh, why scoring points? But if you are painting your life, one complete year, 12 cards, one complete year of, of your life, this makes sense. And then you have the competencies you need to be able to paint your landscape. And when we had this idea, all became evident. The artwork, because this kind of long painting is always very often connected to, to uh, ancient um, uh, Asian painting, uh, Japanese, etc. Japanese stamps, etc. So, all makes sense, and then we begin really to, uh, to work on the, the other mechanism we needed to build the game. Then the chance we had is that uh, the publisher, we, we, uh, we, we got the game, so Yellow, decide, was really uh, captivated by, by the, the story, we didn't want to change uh, the team, and he decided to really put a lot of 
energy to get the best components we could imagine with that. And so, frankly speaking, it's one of the best collaboration I had with a publisher. Yes, I was, during all the process, we were always involved in the decision. Uh, it was very friendly, it was very nice, and we wanted all to go to try to offer the best uh, to the players. And I'm happy with this game, for sure. That sounds great, and the components has been really clever designed. Yeah. Because the paint, the paint the, and, and the, 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 the board, yeah, exactly. it's beautiful. You really feel that you are a student of Hukosai. Exactly. <laughs> and it illustrates what I was saying before, game experience. It's a game experience. Yes. Yeah. It we could not be. To, yes, but we wanted to try to create that game experience. And to create that game experience, we needed to have a good story, the good components, and the good mechanics, which fix together to create that experience. It's a good example, I think. Yeah, it's a really good example. Yeah. And what about the illustrator? You knew it before, uh, no, Mr. Jade? It, uh, is she, it's, a, it's a girl. Ah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Miss Jade. Miss Jade, excellent. No, I had never heard about her before. Okay. Uh, it was her first experience in games, uh, and it's the publisher who found her. And immediately when I look at this work, I say, yes, okay, it's perfect. It's exactly what we need. That was yes, sure. some watercolor. Uh, it's modern, but it remains with old pictures, so it's, it, yes. Kind of mystic, it's exactly. beautiful. Yeah. You seem a, a, an author that I think it's kind of specialized and knows really well how to make games with drafting mechanics. Mm -hmm. Do you like that kind of mechanic? Yeah. Okay, do you think that in Kanagawa or other games later, it's a mechanic that could be even, could grow more? Uh, exactly the same uh, mechanism that uh, in Kanagawa, I'm not sure if it makes sense to build another game only on that mechanism. Uh, the drafting mechanism, but uh, I think that for drafting you can imagine a lot of different things. Bruno, it has been great to talk with you about Kanagawa. Hope you have a great fair. Thanks for your games. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.